Okay, so last night, uh, Goldberg returned to the WWE after a 12-year absence. Uh, Eddie, you were watching wrestling back in 2003. What was That was the last time that he was actually in WWE. Were you watching wrestling then, or was it before I, that? I definitely was watching it before that. Before that? Yeah. So how, how do you remember Goldberg? I just remember him coming in and just spearing people out, out the ring. Like, out the ring? Yeah. <laughs> he was a beast. Yeah, he was. And he was kind of like what Brock Lesnar is right now. Uh, just sort of undefeated monster, um, except that Brock Lesnar right now is more of a part timer than he is a full time. Where uh, I believe it was a like hundred and seventy something straight wins. That were you a part of that that whole win streak? Yeah, you know, so get a chance to win. I that? was. He was. He was at the end of uh, like my tenure of watching wrestling. Well, last night he came back after twelve years. Uh, they were billing him as the greatest WCW champion of all time, which I'm sure will piss off a lot of people because yeah. uh, you really think about all the other champions. You had Sting, you had Ric Flair, uh, you had Harley Race, was I believe a WCW champion or NWA champion at some point, and you had a lot of really talented individuals that were WCW champions. And Michael Cole probably called him the greatest WCW champion about 250 times. Wow, <laughs> so it was pretty bad. Uh, what do you, would, would you consider him? I, you probably didn't watch too much of WCW, but from what you saw, did you think that he was the greatest Look, WCW champion of all time? He he was solid, but you know when it comes to wrestling, it's not just about what goes on in the ring; it's the personality the personality that comes. With that, well, with that I, man, yeah, man. but I mean, did Goldberg really have a personality? He just he didn't. He, he just, <laughs> he just yeah. kind of bulldozed I mean, through everybody. If you want to talk about The Rock, now we're talking about personality. Yeah, okay, but that's like apples and oranges, though. Yeah, I guess. You know, The Rock is a completely different character overall than than Goldberg. I, I don't know. I just greatest WCW champion kind of stuck at me a little bit. Yeah, because it didn't make any sense. I mean, he was a solid, well-rounded. You could tell the guy went to work. Maybe he's a stand-up guy. He wasn't handled though. biz. And <laughs> I would disagree with you on that. I don't think he was a solid, well-rounded individual. He didn't. He wasn't a great wrestler, as far as like tech, from a technical aspect. He wasn't a Dean Malenko, of right. Chris Benoit. Right. You know, uh, I'm just using his contemporaries. I'm not even going back even further than that. Uh, he. When he started talking, that's when I think things started going downhill for him, <laughs> like you know, personality wise. When they got him out of his uh, comfort zone, and yeah, when he, when he just started, you know, who's next? You know, it was I don't know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just Say that again. What was that? Was, Who next? Who next? <laughs> Who next? Yeah. He did I, it last night too. I can see what you're saying. He, he didn't. He didn't say uh, last night. He ended the uh, the promo with uh, Brock Lesnar. Not only are you next. But you're last. Wow. So, like, I remember very little of him. So, <laughs> there's probably a reason for that. Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah. Uh, what you do remember of him, though, was a solid, well-rounded individual, which is, I don't know. I make us I spend mean, more time, like, looking at all the different types of wrestlers that it's like, um, it, look, like yeah. He's not, he's... <laughs> He's not like a, you know what I mean. He, like I said earlier, he's not like The Rock. I know we're talking about. Apple well, who Rogers. would you compare him to? Like honestly, if you could think of somebody who, and I'm not, I'm not trying to shit on Goldberg. Uh, I like Goldberg. Uh, I've liked the work that he's does. Greatest WCW champion though was kind of like, okay, you're overdoing it. It's overkill. But I like Goldberg. Uh, but who would you compare him to? Like, if you could think of anybody from when you were watching wrestling. You know, that's a tough one. It really is. I, a lot of I mean, when you had like personalities a... like Triple H, Razor Ramon in those days. Well, no. Razor, <laughs> there was no Razor Ramon in those days. Well, okay, technically, yes. He was... Pre-2003, was... there was Razor Ramon. Yeah, that was back in... The, that was like, what, 1996 was the last time you had Razor... Before he went over to uh, WCW, then after that, uh, Bret he was, Hart. Yeah, Bret Hart. Bret Hart had, had no personality either, though. He didn't. <laughs> but you would. But he was a great technical wrestler, right? 
Bret Hart was all about the glasses, bro. <laughs> Pink spandex and the glasses and the pink spandex and glasses and the little curls in the head, you know what I mean? Like, and, and he's your Canadian superhero. Yeah, yeah, I can see. And that. then I think he, I remember. Would you compare him to Colbert? No, I don't think so. Not. I don't you know. know the comparison is. like is always comes out with Stone Cold Steve Austin versus no. Goldberg. It's like completely different. It's completely different. If it wasn't for the fact that they, I both was gonna were, say Stone Cold, but I was like, nah. Stone Cold was on another level. It's just black band, uh, black tights, and. Uh, and a bald head, and all of a sudden now you're comparison. Like even Ryback, you know Ryback is a completely different character than Goldberg. Yeah. And I, bringing up Stone Cold, what happened with Stone Cold now? That guy's just, I mean, the profanity, the beers. I mean, he came and disrupted wrestling. I mean, if you're a child and your parents walked in the room and Stone Cold Steve Austin was performing. They were trying to shut down the TV on me. And not my parents. Like, no, my parents, but I knew a lot of <laughs> friends who, who had that my issue. Mom, my mom was into I'm it. I'm like, what are you talking about? You can't watch, like, yeah. And I, I think that was pretty interesting because, uh, yeah, he definitely disrupted the household. Uh, that's a digression, though. Because, you know, right now, really, Goldberg is the centerpiece of this, of this going to be this Survivor Series paper. Hey, if you like this video or any other video, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment down below on anything that you might want to see or want, might want to hear about. Yeah. It's WrestleMania. So it's, 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 so exactly, it's WrestleMania. You're come so you out of 12. To, I mean... You think, oh, so you're trying to say he should have one match before WrestleMania, then go into WrestleMania? He's only yeah. having one more match, according to him. But then, of course, he lied on ESPN, too, so who knows? Right. But if he had, okay, if this were truly his last, last match, would he not want to have it in Orlando at WrestleMania this year? I mean, I guess, but should he be given that last match? Well, apparently he should. He's the greatest <laughs> WCW champion of all time. <laughs> Ric Flair? No. No, you're not the greatest. No. No. Sting? I mean, look at, you're not the greatest. Look at any other it's sport. Do you, consider, do you consider wrestling a sport, this kind of wrestling? There's no sport for you. No, of course not. It's so, it's, 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 entertainment. it's entertainment. It's like uh, and, it's like saying, uh, okay. do I consider uh, Jason Bourne a real spy? <laughs> like, like, is is he a better spy than James Bond? I mean, Matt Damon sounds like a yeah. Maybe he is. No, he could be. He could be. But you you get what I'm trying to say here. It's yeah, like it's I characters. Do, I do, I do. It's, In that case, then yeah, WrestleMania should be fine for him because that's what it is. Now, you're not going to have a boxer come out of retirement out of 12 years and say, I'm going to defend my title and give me the hardest hitting dude out on the out in the ring today. Yeah, it wouldn't and make just, any sense, yeah. but nothing in professional wrestling ever makes any sense. Right. Professional, wrestling, okay. professional wrestling is the only uh, is the only form of sports entertainment. Or, yeah, entertainment. Let's say sport. If it were considered a sport, it would be the only sport where you can literally lose three or four times and be rewarded with a championship match. <laughs> yeah, explains why Hulk Hogan is still relevant. Hulk Hogan is not relevant. Hulk Hogan is is uh, not around. He's not, but he be he pops his head in every once. No, in a while. he doesn't. He doesn't. No, dude, he yeah, ever, ever since oh, the yeah. racism thing. But I think that's why uh, I think Goldberg's coming in. He's the anti Brock Lesnar, where he where Brock Lesnar doesn't care about the kids. Zeus. What about Zeus? <laughs> Are you bringing back Zeus? Zeus, Tiny Lister. <laughs> That's the comparison to, to Goldberg. It's, it's Zeus. Dry. Okay. They come in. Uh, they beast the, on dudes. The lazy and right they eye. Get out. Yeah. <laughs> that was his. Actually, that was his best. That was a, that was the best thing he had going for him was his, his lazy right eye. Yeah, Seriously. it was it actually it made it added to the, more, yeah. it added to the character, made him look more it, intimidating. It did. Okay, so there you go. So we have now the official comparison is Zeus uh, to to Goldberg. That's that's fantastic. I mean, think about it. Would you watch Survivor Series now that Goldberg and Brock Lesnar are going to be? This could be Goldberg's. What's up with Brock Lesnar? He's playing UFC, then he's going to WWF. I mean, is he just making his money, or what's happening here? Uh, yeah, I think he's just making his money. Because he's got some fight talent, I guess, if he's in UFC, or he just is beasting on dudes. Oh, I mean, did he really 
beast on dudes. <laughs> like, I mean, he he had a couple wins, but yeah, he's he suffered a few losses in the UFC. So I mean, he should. Just, I mean, Brock Lesnar is is he's just too big, man. Like, he gets a lot of credit for things just because of his, his, his sheer size. Yeah. But realistically, is he that good? Not really. He's not that great of a fighter overall. Brock Lesnar at five eleven, uh, two hundred and twenty pounds, would not be anywhere near. Their, like he's not a Conor McGregor. No. You know what I mean? You gave Conor McGregor Brock Lesnar's size with his skill set that it'd be impossible for any of them to be Conor McGregor with his skill set. Okay. But, uh, but he's got. I mean. Go ahead. Brock Lesnar's size is like. I think it takes away from his agility for sure. Yeah, you know, I and, and like, I, I get that. Wasn't, but wasn't he an Olympian wrestler? Yeah, he was. So I mean, he has that. He was a national. I believe he was like a national. No, he was an Olympic cha- uh, wrestler. He was a national champion in college. Oh, he was national. Kurt Angle okay. was an Olympic champion. Okay. Yeah, he broke his That's neck. That's right. Broke his neck, and continued to uh, continue to wrestle. See now, Kurt Angle. I got tons of respect for Kurt Angle. He's not the biggest guy. But he's like a freaking pit bull, and he just doesn't stop. Yeah. He doesn't stop. Even when he's beating his women, he doesn't stop. <laughs> when he's yeah. drinking, he doesn't stop. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Kurt Angle's a... Kurt Angle, though, tons of respect for him as far as as a pure athlete. I mean, it's, yeah. Beating his women is not cool, though. No. <laughs> no, beating women is not cool. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right.